Hi everyone, it's Rosemary Morris from Rosemary Morris Art. I'd like to share with you this um, Egyptian book that I've just made. Now I might have a job uh, videotaping it because it is so enormous. Um, you can see by the size of my hands. Uh, and, and if you saw the way I videotape, I videotape on my iPad and I've got two coffee tables each side with um, a pile of bricks on them and a plank that the thing is sitting on. So I've had to raise it all up to try and get it in into so that you can see it. So <clears throat> the front cover, of course, is that beautiful mask. And I've cut out these gold uh, corner pieces from gold card and stuck those on. This is um, the back of it, if you can see it, is... I'm trying to see. I have to stand on my toes to actually see what you're looking at. Um, that that background there, the black, is a, a book cover that I had that had this netting on it. And what I've done is I've painted it because it was picking up um, all the little bits in this. Once I painted it black because it was white before you couldn't see them, but when it was black, it picked up all these little white bits off everything. So I I've covered it with triple thick. Um, thank you Heather Tracy for introducing me to Triple Thick and it's got this beautiful metal gold braid down it and this is some fabric which I found that I thought looked like those Egyptian fans. On the spine it has two lovely tassels there and um, the braid, because because when they were hanging, they were twisting around and, and you can see they're sort of a flat tassel. Um, so I put some brads in them to hold them in. And they're also helping to hold the pages in the book itself because the pages are so heavy. And there's the back of it with Tutankhamun's headdress again. And this is the, the other side of that fabric. So we'll go inside and see how I go showing you what's going on inside. So inside the front cover, there's this beautiful image. And again, it's got some cut out. These were actually, when I cut out the um, other things on my machine, these are actually the, the pieces in between the, what you usually chuck away. And I thought, oh, they look a bit like hieroglyphics. So I'll use those. There's another one up there. Um, <clears throat> And each page has this flap on it. Um, and again, that gold braid, I've, I've put it throughout the book to actually make it look um, cohesive. Uh, and it's got a lift up flap. And on this side, there's an ank. And then, if I can get them out. All these little cards I've made are from a book of the history so these are the guys that actually found the tomb so there's a little writing about them as well and so a lot of them are photos from the actual finding of the tomb and these two ladies here Rosalind L.B. Moss and Mrs. Ethel W. Burney who edited the topographical biography until 1970. So they were involved with it too. I just love their names. Ethel and Rosalind. Um, and that one's got a, a tassel on it. This one's got beautiful, oops, God thing. These were silver. I get all my charms from eBay, if anybody wants to know. Um, and what I've done is I've done them, I've gone over them with um, alcohol inks just to fit in with the book because I didn't want them silver, I wanted them looking gold. So this is the copyist of the uh, the Egyptian writings and he used to be a strong man lifting a frame with as many as peop 12 people in it and then he, um, and then he um, went and did the finding things in Egypt, which is rather interesting. So, and then <clears throat> inside here, which I've, I've got this little notebook, which I've, I don't know whether you can see it. I've, I've put it, put um, Kim Holtz, not distressing the oxides on it, and then sprayed it with water, which has gone all this thing. Then I've ripped the corners to make it look old. And 
it's a copy of the original notebook and in it there's in the back which again I've screwed it all up and antiqued it to make it look really old there's um, a fold out of uh, the drawings in the tomb that they actually made at the time so there's all sorts of things like that in this book I won't show you them all because it'll take too long I'll just put these back because if I don't put things back I won't know where they come from so this side in framed quite nicely um, that's that's one of the temples on the Nile and then this comes down and it's a drawing one of the original drawings that they made when they opened the tomb it's held together with a magnet so that's the first page it's got five pages in here but once you start decorating them they are really really makes a thick book so in in each in each page there's a pocket there and I've kept some of the pages from a book that I really liked um, the look of and I couldn't cut them up and use them in the book because I had too many things so that sits in the in the side pocket there and they all have one of those as you can see here they've all got one of those in so this in here, this is a pocket here, oops, sliding around. And in the pockets, there's another pocket. And again, it's got things in that I've torn and antiqued and made look amazing. And they're the original notes from the explorers that found them. Um, so there's two of those. Oh, and another one there. Oh, and another one. I'm not going to stop and show you all these because it would take too long, but it makes really interesting reading. It was a bit like putting together a school project, actually. <laughs> so this one has got another, another envelope in there with things in it. And then inside there's the same goddess. Again, these were just... Um, the cut out bits from the machine which I made into corners and then here there's a belly band of the map of the Nile and there's another diary which is just gorgeous I was going to glue it in and then I thought no it'll it'll lose all these adverts on the back I'm a bit into steampunk so all these things I love them <laughs> so in here there's actually a um a drawing of how the tomb was when they opened it so all of these carriages here were taken apart and piled up and of course they bury them with everything they need they they think they need in the afterlife so presumably in the afterlife you'd get somebody to put them back together again ride your chariot chariots around Egyptian heaven so that fits in there and I've, I've strengthened this I've glued it but I've also strengthened it with brads so the next page And in there, there's another page from the book. The next page, I thought this was rather fun. Um, there were two images of this of this dagger. This is actually a wooden, a wooden carving, which is amazing. But the dagger actually comes out of the scabbard. Isn't that clever? <laughs> I think it's so gorgeous. And then over here, we've got the front and the back of the of the mummy <clears throat> oh, not the mummy the uh, the inside of the sarcophagus look at that beautiful chair and this was stuck in his in his tomb it's like who would do that him I suppose but I'd want to keep it out and, and look at it so over here if you can get them in uh, these are the the two Howard Carter and Lord Carnarvon removing the blockage of the doorway between the antechamber and the burial chamber 16th of February 1925 so there they are fancy being able to find that and then this flips up 
and it's a map of the old Nile and where all the things are along the Nile, all the temples and things like that. Again, another page from the book. And here we've got a side pocket made from that beautiful Tutankhamun thing. You can see I'm in love with this face. Two ladies um, sent me a separate Egyptian books that they had and this is where I got a lot of the images so thank you ladies you know who you are you're getting a gift in the mail and when I get around to it by the way and this is a map of again which I've antiqued screwed it up and gone over it with um, uh, I think it was it was this Vintage photo, which we all love dearly. Thank you, Tim, <laughs> for that. So I think everybody in the world who makes journals and books uses that. Um, <clears throat> and then over this side, there's another pocket. Look at that, isn't that amazing? It's gorgeous. And that's got another pocket in it with some more things in it, which I won't bother getting out. And that flips up, and here there's a um, a jewellery box. And because it was a jewellery box, I thought it was appropriate to put some jewellery in it. And look at that stool. Oh, let's all go for a picnic and take our stools. <laughs> yeah, amazing stuff. The craftsmanship on things at this time is, is just gorgeous. So here we've got that beautiful bird. I did some stamping of the bird that I had that I had the stamp of. And then in here there's some old postcards which I've stamped on the back of. Oh and this this little fold out again. Because it was this purpley colour, I actually did it with another colour instead of the the photo thing. So there's an original one of the I didn't realise that this was completely buried in sand and they dug all the sand out around it. You can see there's still sand there. Um, and uh, and now, of course, it's fully exposed with its pores and everything showing. So there it is, partially in the sand. Poor thing lost its nose. So that pops in there. I can get them all in at once. Then the next page, <clears throat> over here, stay in there. We've got a belly band with one of those packages. Oh, I realised that I put this in upside down. <laughs> the little bird's upside down. So I might have to cover that up with something or just leave it and say, oh, whoopsie, put it in upside down. And this has got a little... Uh, oh, pharaoh on it, kind of tassel, and beautiful statues that they found in the tomb as well. I have to make sure that that goes in because, I'll leave that one out, it goes next to the lion, I have to remember that, because it, it folds and it turns up the corner of it. So this one is a tuck spot. Again, some beautiful cutouts from my machine and that gold paper. The goddess. Oh, another goddess. Sorry, I'm not looking. I've got the, because I've raised the camera up, it's in a different position to what it usually is. And there's another pocket. With some more cutouts. And these are the leftover ones again. Beautiful. I have to remember to keep looking at the, at the screen because it's in a different place to what it usually is. So on this side, there's a picture of the hieroglyphs and then this pops down. It's got something about the Egyptian pharaoh and then that opens up to another plan of the inside of the tomb with all of these layers here, how many layers there were of, of the sarcophagus around him. I don't know where the plural is, sarcophagus is, 
also a coffee guy. <laughs> and then <clears throat> the last page. Again, it's got a little, oops, don't disappear down there. It's got a little page from the book. Another beautiful, beautiful jewellery um, cabinet. These cards with the eye, I think it's called the Eye of Horus. Um, a lovely pharaoh and another one there. And these have got information about entering the afterlife and why they have this one with eggs around it. And there's more about people who are involved in the excavations. Um, somebody who is involved. And he was one that uh, worked out some of the hieroglyphs. And there they are digging out the Sphinx. So I didn't realise it was actually buried in sand. I thought it was always sticking up the way that we see it nowadays, but evidently not. And then the back cover, there's the front cover of the goddess and on the back cover there's a god. So, hope you enjoyed that. I absolutely love it. I'm going through my Egyptian phase. I've just done an Egyptian journal as well. So I'll show you that as well. Bye.